as you can see right there and then today we're going to be looking at how you can actually install your the original 1688 directly from the 1688 website you know this original one cannot be found on the play store so people keep uh, requesting that i should resend to them because i downloaded when i was training people during most of my classes i download as a file and send it to people because of the challenge most of them have so instead of wasting a lot of time go here go there i do used to download and send it to them as a, a file however in this video i want to review how you are not just going to install the application alone but you are going to install the application like download it install it translate it and then sign into this very application okay so that is what you are going to be looking at once again my name is ken steve and here we do videos about many protection procurement business e-commerce freelancing and in fact a whole lot of skills that need you to earn money online in nigeria and abroad so if you are unable to subscribe to this channel what are you waiting for we promise to teach you to the best of our ability here so kindly hit the like button subscribe and turn on the notification so that you get weekly updates so please i sincerely apologize for the recent videos i made because like especially the last video i posted um, when i check it i discovered that the quality of the screen display was not all that okay but i decided to work on the quality of the video so that you people can see my screen very clear so without wasting time let's dive in so you can see this is the application right here sorry this is the application right here so i'm going to uninstall it and then show you exactly how you are going to get this application back directly from the website first of all let me uninstall it first because i'm going to show you exactly how you're going to do that okay so it's now uninstalled so you can see it's no longer here So I'm now going to go to my Chrome. Just head over to your Chrome browser and then on the Chrome browser you're going to type you're going to type 1688.com. Of course that is the original uh, like the main website of 1688. And then you're going to type that on your Chrome browser and then you will land on the page that, that look exactly like this so from here i'm going to translate okay it has already translated but unfortunately the place we are going to use will not translate because it is label what is there is the labeling and not the text so you just see where i'm shading this where i'm shaking this uh, translator this is the way you can locate the app so like now you can see from here over the left corner here they are showing you the sign of the application just like we uninstalled it before so when you are having this application in your phone installed in your phone immediately you tap there they are going to take you to the app but because you are not having it when you tap on it that is i'm going to tap here so when you tap there it's going to load and then take you to a place where you are supposed to download the application instead yes so you can see from here this is the downloading page and if i come down here this is the download button here so i'm going to tap on the download button so you can see they're asking me whether i want to download this application so we just click download here and they start downloading then you know it's about 99 i think 99.1 megabyte thereabouts so when you are downloading make sure that you have up to 99 megabytes in your data so that it is going not going to cease So you go to your applications where you are going to access the one you just downloaded. So I'm going to type on the apps. So when I tap on the apps, here it is showing me my installed applications. And then over to the right, when I tap here, they are going to show me both the applications I have downloaded and the one I have not downloaded. So this is the application right here. So I'm going to tap on it here. And then since i uninstall i will now click on install so it is now installing i think it's not going to waste a lot of time so i will just leave it okay so the application i've just installed and here i'm going to tap on the open so it's going to open up like this 
Okay, so what the abbreviated is asking you here is that do you agree the privacy and policy of the 1688 and the Taba group of companies? So, 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 or the, that is that is just the whole thing. You know, when you install every application, they are going to tell you about the privacy and policy so that you know how you're going to operate on that particular application. So, the same thing applicable to this that are giving you the uh, privacy and policy here whether you are going to agree or you are going to decline so over my right here where it is shaded here this is the agree button and here is the cancel so since you are installing this application and you definitely want to import from china that means you are going to accept the privacy and policy so i'm going to click the orange button so clicking the orange button will load up and then will take us directly into the application so this is the application here so right here first of all what i may like you to what i may like to show you here is actually how you can translate this app because that is the most crucial part of the app installing the app alone will not just help you navigate um all that so now i'm going to cut off this page and then show you how going we are going to get a tool that will help us translate this very application so now i'm going to head over to my google play store and then download what is called high translate app i already have it here but i'm going to demonstrate exactly how you are going to follow so if i come here i'm going to tap i'm going to check high translate see it here so you can see it is showing me open so if you have not downloaded it you will you will see something like install right so you click on install and then you install it so as for me i've already installed and i'm not going to waste your time here so i'm going to tap on the open button So this is how it's going to open up because I'm already having it and this is the one I'm demonstrating to point out my screen so it's already on. So from here I'm going to tap on the off button to show you how you can actually navigate the app. So first of all if you install this is how it's going to look like. The button will be off and then first of all you're going to tap on the on button so you're going to turn it on and then sometimes when you want to turn it on they will also ask you to uh, check the accessibility that you should give the high translate app access to your screen access to your files like access to your apps other applications so you're going to give it access you just turn it on so when you turn it on from there it can be able to draw over other apps so just some way they will just pop up and then demonstrate it for you but since i've already installed they will not show that but it's a very simple mm -hmm. step you're going to take so now when you install it it is going to cling at the edge of your screen i don't know whether you can see at the middle of my screen you can see it here can you see so once you wait a little bit it's going to cling at the edge of your screen so when it cling there when you want to type anything or touch your screen in this place it is not going to move so you're going to tap on it anytime you want to use your screen from that very place and then you tap on move so when you tap on move you are going to drag it anyway just drag it anyway it will be there and then it will still cling at the edge of your screen when you want to use it so if you still want to use your screen in that place you're still going to tap on it and then tap on move so that is how you're going to do the use the high translate app so coming back to the app how you are going to use it alongside the app there are basically two ways you are going to use this high translate app with the 1688 app for translation so first is the line by line translation so line by line translation any line you see on this application that you want to translate you're going to drag your high translate and then point at that exact location you can see they just translated this and they read decoration source one-on-one -on -one love couple couple to ring japan and korean simple personal to read personal sorry pers simple proposal to ring jewelry ring a wholesale that is just the whole thing there right there so it's going to translate exactly what they write in that place so now if you still want to translate another place you still drag it personally i do use one by one translation because it gives me what is written at that place exactly and then i move to another one like here if i want to buy this back and i don't know what they are telling there or i don't know exactly what the title looks like i'm going to tap on it open up like this and then i'm going to drag my 1688 sorry i'm going to drag my high translator and then you see it here they say 
mommy bag wholesale 2022 new portable collision mother to child bag mother bag fashionable multifunction shoulder bag so this is the bag is actually a brand new bag for this 2022 it is produced uh, this january so it's a trending bag in case you want you can still check it and go for it so that is how you are going to do so when you come down here you are going to see something like you are still going to translate from here this is ali one one for those of you that attended my class i discussed about ali one one so for, in case you don't attend just ali one one is a messenger for taobao one one six eight eight that is what is called Ali one one here is a favorite here is your card so now you can see here this button is called the uh, this button is called uh, add to purchase and then this one is called order now so here what you may want to do is to communicate with the owner of this bag and then let me quickly demonstrate how you are going to do that so if you want to check anything you can see what they're asking here they're asking to allow do you want to allow here should be cancel think again and then here what are they saying mobile ali needs to use your phone permission to protect your account security so i'm going to what allow so here they are asking you to log in and then by the right here where you see this place here this is the of course it is not going to translate because this is a label and not a text so here they are asking you whether you want to register an account and here is the login so just forget any other thing and then you're going to tap here so if i tap here they are going to take me what are they saying okay sorry the privacy and policy i didn't accept the privacy and policy you can see it here i have fully understood that 168 platform is commercial trade so you're going to accept then you tap on the login button so you can see right here if you are already having your 168 account intact with you you are going to put the username here where i'm pointing at where they draw something like a man's profile picture a man your 168 account name there and here where you see padlock you're going to put your password and then you will log in always remember that if you mistake just like you have a capital t on the password and then you are mistaken to write small letter t they will reject it so always make sure you write your password exactly so when you type it, you are going to click here and then login you can see this is the login button so now another thing you are going to do is that see the smartest way to log into this account you already have an ali pay account if you already have an ali pay account that you sign in on this phone they will allow you to link the ali pay just to log in with the ali pay details without any stress so you can see here this is the ali pay and then this is the taobao so you if you already have taobao account they will allow you to log into your login using your taobao account or alipay account so since i want to buy from 1688 i'm going to use alipay account for payment and in this case i'm going to simply log in with my alipay account that is already uh, verified and i'm having it on my phone so i'm going to tap on the alipay sign and then you can see they are taking me to my so this is the alipay account that i just verified somebody this morning and i don't want to log in right now okay but let me just log in for the purpose of demonstration and show you how it is going to function of course i do a lipa verification both when you are having international passport or you are not having i can verify your lipa for you so here they are going to ask me for verification code but i don't want to disturb the owner of this alipay account right now because we started the verification yesterday and then it is almost done so i don't want to since i'm showing you for tutorial purpose i just i don't want to disturb her so you can see here this is get sms so once you click there once you tap on this text they are going to send you an sms code you copy it and then paste here once you paste that code here once you paste that code there you're going to tap on the button and then you log in that's all i would have said let me switch off the video and then go and log into my own alipay account to show you but there is no need since i demonstrated that that would be a total waste of time now we rather prolong the video so there is absolutely no need so that is actually how you are going to navigate this app in case you have any question do well to drop it on the comment section if you don't have any question please kindly subscribe to this channel and turn on notification check the description box i have some gifts for the newcomer related videos that you might be interested to learn more thank you so much i still remain can steve your performance mentor see you in another video